Okay, I think this is recording. Yeah. It's Game Arts. It's grand, yeah. Um, since last time, my headphones did the bad things, and they no longer function properly, which is unfortunate. Um, so they play audio out of only one ear. Um, the effect of this is basically just that I'm gonna have my audio on really quiet so that it is less, uh, less noticeable and less bad for my ears because I still need to use my headset so that microphone works. Um, but yeah, so it'll work out okay. In terms of actual recording, I believe it should be exactly the same as normal because it's just the output on my speakers that changed and this is recorded from like the digital quality on the computer operating system itself. I'm just gonna get the video settings raised because I forgot to do that last time. Continuing from here, the living room again. <laughs> oh, sus. The plan is to check out the Eternal Corridor, i.e. the West Path, I think? Um, which is where we will... <laughs> it's where we have to go to get out of the verse realm. Um, I'm gonna have a look at these shops real quick. Um, I'll check here. I think that we concluded earlier that there's not really anything of good use here. Yeah. These are not outrageously useful. Um, one thing we can check out is extract skills. Um, since I didn't realize that this place can extract skills. I don't think we're going to extract any, but we've gotten a couple new books. And it would be neat to check out what kind of skills we have access to. Alright, so we've got all these normal books like Water Mastery, Quick Draw, Brute Strength, Magic Up. Um, like, see, here. This is a very basic book, and we can get magic up from it, so there's no real reason to buy magic up, because we can just extract it for, like, a hundred gold. Uh, jolt counter is always handy. Life up, again. It's, we can just extract it, no need to buy it. Wind mastery. Berserker. <laughs> so, Berserker... This is a fun situation. Right now we've got it equipped on Yuki, almost purely for the sake of boosting the Berserker he already has equipped. But if we extract Berserker, then we could place that on all for someone else and give them, give them the same effective boosted um, combos. However, it would mean we would no longer have a Tech 3 book for either of the people who is using, um, using Berserker, meaning a lower effect of Berserker, less combos, still more combos than normal, but less than when it's boosted to power 3. So what I would normally do, and I think I'm gonna stick with that, is wait until I have something else that is a Tech 3 book, or at least a Tech 2 and something else book. Um, before extracting Berserker from it, because I think there's only two uh, scout books in the game. I never recall having more than two Berserkers. Revenge! That's a pretty cool move, but we are a skill, but we're not going to use it because it implies, you know, using a special move as the... Um... When damage as the counterattack. Shaman! Meditation and Item Mastery. 
I don't remember what item mastery does. Battle items are more effective. That's pretty cool. May consider getting it. But right now we're saving it for Donna so that she has better mind and tech whenever she gets skill level 6. Guardian book gets sharp eyes and super reflexes. I believe super reflexes makes you automatically defend. Not too sure what sharp eyes does. Uh, sharp eyes. Attack earlier when combat starts. That's pretty cool. And Paladin Book gets a skill level 7. Whoa. Earth Mastery. And Unshakable Will. Does Earth Mastery reduce its MP cost of Earth spells? It doesn't actually boost the power of them. So, it's good for someone like Ulf. Um, since he uh, doesn't have that much MP to begin with. But since we otherwise don't use spells that cost a lot of MP, it's not outrageously useful. <laughs> um, an unshakable will of need, though. It gives user iron nerves, IP gauge, not delayed when hit. Cool. Um, neat stuff. Alright. Good to know. But yeah, nothing that's like... Nothing we can't get later here at the shop, so no need to really ponder that. Magic shop, I believe they didn't have anything for sale here. I'll just double check. Yeah. These are fine things that we can extract if needed, and honestly, just having a single copy of each is fine. Likewise, extract. Let's take a quick look. Um, yeah, there's nothing really new here. Oh, uh, some cells. Okay. What I was expecting more of is checking this general store because they might have things that are rarer. Claymore! Meh. Rune Blade. Meh. Wizard Staff. It's a good attack, but like... Magic plus 39. What does Donna have equipped? Does, does she not have a good magic weapon? That's fair. I don't think that the magic stat actually does anything if you're not using stuff like heal in this case. Uh, Magician's Robe is always useful. We've got one for Yuki. It's a very balanced thing. Warrior mail is not a bad option for Alf. Um, these are cool. They have elemental damage. Um, very cheap. Um, we have one of each. As well as a wind ring, all of which we have equipped on Alfina. Um, I don't think the enemies use elemental moves except for, uh, potentially, like, Crackle. Um, in which case, having some water rings might not be a bad idea. So, I'll grab two of these. Warrior Mail. A full body suit of armor favored by warriors. Good for all. What does his defense look like anyway? 94. 84. Hi, y'all break in in. 5. I'm not on stream, I'm recording. Hi again, don't forget to like and subscribe, baby. Drop a comment down below. Anyway, this is a beautiful floor with me yawning that Chelsea took me a while ago. Good. I like it. It is just the best. Enjoy the video. Hell yeah. Maybe we'll go my coffee breath. Yeah. Alfina has a ridiculously high resilience thing. Okay, um... 94, 84, 90, 72. Don is weak. Elf has 47 resilience. He should probably just. Um, let's see, what's he got equipped right now? A protective charm. Makes you feel like someone is watching over you. Resilience plus 5. <laughs> like, let's just give him the water ring. Since it's like the main magic move anyway. Um, silver armor. Oh. 
Why doesn't he have the dragon armor equipped? Um, cool. Yeah, and he can't use the magician's rope, so he doesn't get that res boost. Yep, there's nothing for him that would boost his resilience. Um, yeah. Justice cards. Magic plus 36. Equipping this would boost her magic by 39. I am confused. <laughs> Is the implication that her current equip brings her magic down three? Fifty-eight. <laughs> magic plus twenty-four. I think it might be? Jeez. Um... Okay, well, that's a... yeah. Yeah, what spells does she have? Um... She uses WoW, Runner, Craze, Fiora, Heal, Healer. I don't think the magic stat does anything. Um... So, just prioritizing attack is probably fine for her, in which case she already has the best weapon. Those cards would be better balanced than these attack plus 20, magic plus 24s. Uh, yeah. Boost magic abilities. This is boosted by 36, which is good, but eh. We'll get better cards later. Um, Donna's cards currently have a sleep effect, which is pretty darn handy, so I'd rather stick around with that. One thing that we can do here is sell those. Uh, Amethyst ring that we got. Yes. So now we have considerably more gold. Obviously, none of this should be sold. <laughs> uh, and let's go through these again quickly. Let's uh, not sell the smart seed this time. Not that I really plan on using it, but I'm always in favor of not getting rid of items that we could use. I could keep one of each of these, but nah. Sup. Rick. I guess sup stands for support. Um, I don't remember. Snooze is also sup. Fine, I guess it's like support suppress. Alright, there's nothing else we need here. Let's see. It's just... Nope, no new flail, so whatever. A wizard staff! 3630, I mean, I'm not complaining. Let's get that for the heck. Actually, no, let's save. We don't fight that many enemies, so I'd rather have the gold to spend on more unique things later than on a small stat boost. Okay, then. Cool stuff. Let's get it saved and check out the Eternal Corridor. Really, we may or may not actually get to the Eternal Corridor today. It is a bit of a trek there, I believe. But there's a save point at the corridor, just outside it, I think. Um, and a bunch of enemies and some treasure between, if I'm remembering correctly. Last time we're seeing Terrarium. I kind of want to check out the people. <laughs> like, maybe just for a couple seconds. I haven't really been following the plot of the characters here like I did when I first played this. You people won't turn to glass if you go out there, will you? No way! I've got a heart of steel, lady! I knew it. People from the outside world seem fine. What do you think of Terrarium? Would you like to live here? Huh? Not exactly. 
It's the pits, isn't it? Although you've got a heart of steel, it would break in two if you died alone here, right? I've never seen such a terrible world before. So I feel like I want to do something to help. But you're leaving, aren't you? I understand. That's just reality. <laughs> Wait a minute! J just cause I... Oh, nothing I can say will convince you. We'll save your world. Just watch. This place is all I have, but I don't mind. Just as long as I'm not alone. The people in this town are like one big family. <sighs> How long do you people plan on staying in the verse realm? There's not much left to see here, you know. We've almost finished what we came to do, so we'll be leaving soon. Is that so? Then you can just go back to your homes, wash your hands with this mess, and forget all about this dead world. We won't forget. We still have much to accomplish. What could it be? Are you planning on writing a novel about the Verse Realm and our dysfunctional family life? Just give us time. We'll break the curse of Zorn and free your people from all of this suffering. Even if you could manage something like that, our lives aren't going to change much. <sighs> Hello there. <laughs> what kind of place is the outside world? Well, it has a blue sky stretched out above it as far as the eye can see. And below it are the sea, forests, animal, people... Animals. That sounds like a fairy tale. It's true, but if we can break the curse of Zorn, the verse realm will be beautiful again, too. What a nice thought. That's what I want to think about on my deathbed while I'm turning into glass. Maybe I can see my lovely wife and grandchildren on the other side. It must be so nice there. Terrarium is bound to end up a pile of glass, just like the surrounding forests. We'll do everything we can to stop that from happening. Just give us a little time. <laughs> what can I say? Do you realize how fertile and prosperous this land was long ago? Were there other cities in this world, such as Terrarium and Termania? There used to be twelve bustling cities here, each protected by a guardian and each surrounded by other towns. But they were all turned to glass and eventually shattered into tiny fragments. <laughs> but what difference does it make? An old man like me doesn't have much time left. Okay, that's interesting lore and makes sense. Um, this is the town protected by Griff. Which is why it's sort of doomed now that Griff is dead. And why everyone goes on about that in particular. But it looks like Griff must have been the most uh, powerful one to defend against the rest. Because, unless it could be that Seva's, um, still exists somewhere out there, but I wouldn't be sure. It sounds like the rest really are gone. Excuse me, young people. Did you happen to see my Melito around anywhere? Never heard that name. We just got to this town and it's our first time here. Where could he be? Off wandering around somewhere, I suppose. And it's dinner time. And 
instead of struggling to survive, maybe I should just give in. Hey, what are you planning to do exactly? I'm going to fly as high as my wings can take me and then just let myself be turned into glass. That sounds like suicide. You could put it that way. But staying here would be dying a slow death. Either way, I'll be dead. But you can't give up. We've got to stay alive. So what am I supposed to do? Go on living in fear? People from your world could never understand how I feel. Oh dear. I hope. This is Hex Place again. Have we anywhere else? Yuki, this must be a statue of Seba, right? You're probably right. Not positive, though. Yes. It has to be. This is a statue of Seba. Seba, we have to go and see you. And this has got to be old Drac. He kicked the crap out of Zorn a long time ago. I imagine Drac was a lot younger back then, right? Yup. It's not like he was born a shriveled up old dragon. <laughs> he was stronger and popular with the dragonettes, no doubt. What are dragonettes? Mighty dragons. Drac, I know. I left the valley, but I'm proud I was born and raised there as a dragon rider. This is Griff's homeland. I wonder if her soul has come back to this place? I'm sure it has. Then I'd better say goodbye to her. Goodbye, Griff. Almighty oh, Yote, the new path has been revealed to us. Please guide us on our journey for truth. This Dolphin Guardian must have fought with Zorn too! I'll bet it used ultrasonic waves! Could this one be... a statue of Zorn? Could be. That said that Zorn was a Guardian. But a statue is a statue. I got no beef with this rock. fell apart. Or did someone break it? We are cursed, and the curse has reached the very heart of our land. Is that lady alright? I guess she's looking for someone named Melito. Just tell her that Melito said he doesn't need any dinner. Okay. Was was she the wandering around one? I think so. Where'd she go? Hmm. Uh, there she is. Melito doesn't need any dinner. That man told me doesn't need dinner? What could he be up to? Goodness, you don't think he's been turned to glass. <sighs> Back and forth. Oh dear. Also, who are you? I hope and pray that I'll be able to give birth to my child before I'm turned into glass. Um, why don't you try living in our world for a while? You might like it. And abandoned terrarium, former home of glorious Griff? That would be a betrayal of my people and my guardian. 
But if you die, it'll all be over. And you've got a child to worry about, right? You've got a point. My child isn't bound to this world land like I am. I wonder if I could leave this place behind. I never thought about that before. I just want to give birth to a healthy child. Beyond the eternal corridor, a large blue sky stretches over the world, right? Thank you. I'll discuss it with my husband. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Cause like, they can leave. They just don't. But they can. It's funky to think about that. Alright. Melito. Are you Melito? You may not be Melito. I don't remember. She said her son hasn't come back yet, and she's been no looking for him. Know anything about that? Tell her that Melito is busy studying myths. That ought to convince her. Is Melito a student? He's a student of mythology. It's a completely useless subject, but long ago a few people wanted to study it. Okay. I don't know if it's possible to find him? Where'd she go? Apparently, Melito is busy studying mythology. Oh yeah, and he doesn't need any dinner. Oh, that Melito! Reading myths again, is he? I told him that no one in our family has a knack for that, but he won't listen. If he doesn't come home soon, it's the belt for him. He's the only son we've got to take over the bakery someday. <laughs> this is not something that Yuki is moderately acquainted with at all. Not to mention every other anime protagonist, but... Tell her that Melito went to take from Yuto a sandwich. That ought to calm her down. Calm her down? What do you mean exactly? There's no hidden meaning. It ought to calm down the old woman for a while, that's all. Wild. Oh yeah, what's this? The curse of Zorn. Zorn! We're all so powerless here. All we can do is turn to glass and blow away like sand. Tell me something, why did this happen to us? How long do we have to stay here waiting for the end? I don't know, but it'll be over someday. Where are the guardians? Or the souls of those who turned to glass? And why has that old woman lost her mind? Tell me. <laughs> oh boy. So... I heard Melito went to take Femuto a sandwich. So he's delivering our goods, is he? That's my Melito. I didn't even have to tell him and he's working hard. But I'll bet he has a reason for taking food to Femuto. That man's house is chock full of mythology books, you know? like we've sorted things out, more or less, even though, you know, kind of lying. Tell her that Melito took from Yuto a sandwich 40 years ago and never came back. That'll take us back to square one. 
hard years ago. So then, Melito is... He must have turned into glass along the roadside a long time ago. That's what my dad says. But the old woman doesn't remember. Yeah, she's been pretty senile lately. She must be exhausted. That's just awful. Please hear me out, ma'am. This is hard for me to say, but Melito... Don't say it, Yuki. I think it's better that way. But I can't take this anymore! I don't want to imagine her searching for a dead person for the rest of her life! No, that old woman couldn't handle the truth. At least a lie gives her some hope. What good is false hope? Hey, Granny! Melito's dead, you know! He croaked 40 years ago! Oh, How mean! <laughs> Goodness me! You know, you know, this morning he overslept, so I spanked his behind to wake him up. You think that's too strict? Well, they used to call me the Dragon Lady, you know. Discipline has to be harsh. Yes. You're right, ma'am. If Melito's going to take over the bakery, you have to use strict discipline. Melito should know it's time for breakfast. That boy. If you people happen to see him, tell him for me, alright? Oh, gosh. That old lady was sharp as nails a while back. I heard they used to call her the Dragon Lady. And now she's walking around looking for her son who's most likely dead. She's a tired old lady, not as sharp as she used to be. I think that's it. Unfortunately. There's not any resolution to be found there. I save uh 2450 oh geez I can't tell through that menu <laughs> I'm just double check and save here anyway Terrarium. Time to check out the Eternal Corridor and the path there. I think Nano has something she wants to tell you people. Yeah, Yuki. I mean, since we met her, we might as well take a little time to say goodbye. Say a few words to her. She can talk, but she's gotten awfully good at using gestures to express her thoughts. I'm gonna... I'm gonna help your world get back to normal. 
I'll see you later, okay? Never forget how much you love your mom. Hey, you almost spoke! Just take a deep breath and say what you feel. You can do it! Good. Good. Look. Everyone. She spoke. What a pretty voice. Thank you. That means a lot to us. Hmm. It's been two long years. How is Nano suddenly able to talk to you people? Nano's mother. We'll get Zorn for this. A look of fear, frozen in time. He's holding his head. Once he realized what was happening, it was too late. Oh, Divine Yod, guide these lost souls back to your protective embrace. What a beautiful woman, even as a statue. Did you drop something important? It looks like there's something at the bottom of the river. It used to be important to me. But I threw it away now that I no longer need it. It's my mother, turned into glass. What? Break, crumble, disintegrate. Oh, I'm ruined. How torturous to live in this world as a sculptor. My friends, my teacher, my sweetheart, and even my own mother have all surpassed me. They've achieved enlightenment as pure crystalline statues of perfection. Now I must live by my own incompetent, ugly self, day by day in this lifeless world. What are you saying? If someone important to you has died, you gotta keep living on for them. That's a healthy philosophy. But all I can do is feel envious of these beautiful crystalline corpses lining our town. I'm an artist. Why can't I become a crystalline statue, the pinnacle of artistic evolution? Whiff. Versrel, Silver Spring. Ta-da! Of course. It's the second to last dungeon room. And there's a save over there. Oh god. Maybe my sword hit will target the other one. Fiora, X2, oh god. Um, I don't think I can cancel that one, but this one should be fine. Let's see. Alright, that's Yuki, of course. Not bad. Oh, come on! <laughs> Running away. Oh, wow, it actually he was in range of everyone. Nice. Alright, we can't use special moves either, so no flash. Pretty sure I would hit Yuki. Um, so let's, uh, let's 
scoot. <laughs> oh god. What are you doing, Dark Lips? Uh... Like, I'd rather cancel that, though. <laughs> oh, come on. A lot of damage, Elf. This is a pretty darn low stakes fight. <laughs> so, there's not a heck of a lot to say on it. Alright! Alright, we did it! Skill level 9. Yeah, so I checked those uh, expert stat things, and Yuki's skill level goes up by 4 every time he attacks. Which is why he's pretty darn quick to reach high levels there. I'm gonna check it again, just to see what we can do for Donna. And so on. GR3, expert grinding. Donna! Um, unfortunately, Donna only has... Um, Donna can only boost her skill by one by doing combos and defend. Ostensibly, the fastest way would be for her to use a runner on herself and then defend through every move. Oh god. Oops. Four? Okay. We can deal with this. Needle Crush! Um. Yeah. I don't want to use craze where I don't need to. The warrior card. Give us strength. Yeah. I'm gonna try um soon as it is Alfina's turn. I'm gonna give her uh, whatever the move energy circle. Or the fucking rings that protect her. Holy circle. Yeah, I was mixing it up with energy drive, which is a move she'll get later to distribute SP to other party members. Protect me. And obviously you need shadow over. Bitch, you can't tell which one is me. <laughs> Keep an eye on my shadow. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to assume it won't be that bad and try canceling it. Oh. Uh, rather. Oof. Cancels. Okay. Heck yeah, you are. Uh, let's see. This thing's attacking Alfina. We can probably get a... Counter attack on that. Oh, she just counter attacks. Yeah. Doesn't look like it was a counter, but that's okay. Just use some normal attacks. Get some damage off. And that's a counter too, so. Nice. Lots of damage. I think he's. Okay. I wasn't sure whether that was going to be his final combo attack. Let's get all heal up. Leave this to me. Nice. Nice. 
Needle Crush on Ulf. Ulf will, uh, be able to defend through that. Barely. Get that one. Just three, we should be able to deal with this pretty easy. Keep our guard up though, because these things use paralyzer. I'm going to accept the paralyzer. This one's probably gonna go off. Yuki is targeting uh, C. So let's target C. Fan. Nice. Oh gosh! No! <laughs> oh, that's suboptimal. Ulf knocked it out of the way of Yuki's attack. <laughs> Oops. I guess that's a thing that can happen. Totally out of view. More damage ratio, keeping that up. Good stuff. It's a bomb. Do not get by the bomb. Oh, damn. <laughs> Ew. Nice. Alright! We did it! Magic level up? Nice. How did that even happen? I think that was probably just from the plus eight that happens to to them at the end of the fight. Okay, no treasure right here. So there's your easy group of intro mobs. See what's going on over here. Yeah. Come over here, one at a time. Oh god. <laughs> okay, this could be more difficult. Needle crush, needle crush. Paralyzer, bomb attack, bomb trap. Potentially needle crush. Paralyzer's way at the back. Bomb trap is whatever. Needle crush, let's cancel. Since we can. Shit, is that thing attacking Yuki? Oh god. No, I don't care about that. They're not warning about that, so I'm going to assume it's safe. Let's get these guys while they're still in good range. Still got that? Gravity. Just confirmed they're all right bunched up. Ah. <laughs> Let's hope this, this lands on most hard. of them. This should keep you quiet. 
you. That, that is 165% on its counter. What on earth? That actually hit almost all of them, except for the Aton Delta there. Good stuff. Alright, um, I'm just going to ask you to scoot. <laughs> You too. Um, but you can do that by way. Actually, heck it, let's just get out of here. Run! You need to get a flash up now that we're safe. Uh, who did you cancel? Five? Go after it. Come on, quickly. Good. Okay, um... Okay, let's A up to you. Nothing we can deal with. <laughs> it's too far away. Why don't you just vibe? Actually, no. Get into the battle. Come on. Put yourself somewhere useful. Um, F is gonna lose its combo, like, now. So... I can not counter this, per se, but... Let's see. Oh, oof. That's gonna hurt. You're using Bomb Trap. You can't use Bomb Trap. It's not that complicated. I mean, you can try, but it probably won't work. Ah. Oh, wait. Ulf's in a little jam. Not really, though? I don't know why it suggests that. Um... You're targeting... Yeah, it's Bomb Trap. It's like super far away. Please. Yeah, see, that's no problem. I guess they used Bomb Trap anyway. Fine. <laughs> Maybe it's exempt somehow. So it's using Bomb Trap. Again. Whatevs. Alright, you need to get that over here up. Bitch, you can't tell which one is me. Alphina should probably do an all heal <laughs> next time around. Keep an eye on my Shadow. Dear god. These are gonna be trouble when they go off. You're too quick. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um... That could be X. Ouch. Oh. Um... Not to say there's any problem. <laughs> Oh gosh. It can't be. Okay. Bombs? Serious. Now. Take them seriously, cause they kill you. <laughs> that was coordinated of the enemies, gosh. Alright, um... Defending out of the way of bombs is a fine option, once they're already been placed. Um, I think our gear setup is honestly looking fine, so no need to mess around with any of that. Am I? Oops. 
Sex to lose the frog rest each time. But oh well. I'm not gonna bother with the enemies up front because they were easy and didn't offer that much experience. Get that! Bitch, you can't tell which one is me! <laughs> Keep an eye on my shit! Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Damn. So much for buffs. Oh, divine light. Protect me. Nice. But it's on the ground. Still, combo. You having a fun time with that? It's asleep. What are you doing? Is this going to hurt? Yes. Does he have full health? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Didn't die though. Please. Dang, that was a pretty good series of combos. Didn't kill it though. Ah. Does it take damage upon falling? I think so. That's pretty good. Wow, dodge. Bring them cool stuff. And there's that skill level again. Gosh darn it. Run! Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's see if we can tackle these guys for real this time. Paralyzer! That sucks. Nobody likes Paralyzer. IMO Fiora is highest priority, though. Where's Ulf? He's back. That sucks. I'm gonna do Craze. Like the autumn leaves. Okay. Unfortunately, Yuki's going after the one we just hit. This does boost their things. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. That's an intended effect, isn't it? Debuffs? 
at least Craze and Fiora, boost their combo to 165%. Damage ratio, I mean. Which is good for landing co Huh, okay, fine then. Who are you trying to kill? Bomb trap. Like, there's nothing we can do about it, though. That is really neat. You get out of there, bro. You do. Oh, it's starting to cast on itself. You are not out of range. Like, I'm sorry to say it, but it is true. God. Hundred and sixty-five again? My goodness, is do her cards just like do mega effect or something? Um, we need to heal. It would be great if Althina would get up. But she's not getting up. Um, gonna try craze again. May your mind scatter like the autumn leaves. Oh, I didn't affect the one that was hitting her because then that would have boosted its chain, its damage ratio a lot. Trainer just flying all over the place. Oh, come on. God. Yeah. None of us have healing magic except Yuki, who I'm not bothering with because. Um, you're fighting Pico Gamma. Don't do that, bro. Hey, Alvina, get up. Thank you. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, she just boosts it to 165%. I do not know why. That's what her critical does. I don't know if that has to do with her, uh, the amount of damage she deals, because she does have a strong weapon. Or if it's just a special effect of Donna altogether? I don't know. There's no denying it though, it's a good effect. Ooh. Curse over. Hello. God damn it. Oh god. Oh no. Uh, that looks not great. Six of them. Uh, let's see. Paralyzer! You all are doing Needle Crush, other yucky things, we need Ulf to get up. So that he can defend. <laughs> no! What's his damage ratio? Already up. Ouch. It's not that big a deal on its own. This is probably bomb trap. Paralyzer! Nope. Oh, come on. 
Alright, here we go, and after. Let's go after... It's gonna be Ulf's turn, I think. If not Donna's. Yep, Ulf. Uh, let's go after... Uh, this thing. And you can try to... Well, you can't critical that, but let's get Shadow Warrior up. And then you might be able to be in a position where you can cancel it. Oh, also good damage right here. Nope. And what's this doing? Bomb trap on Donna. Unfortunately, can't do much about that. You up to, bro. Oh god, that's after you. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright. Yeah, Yuki's Flash is helping a lot here for his speed on the IP gauge. You need to get the heck out of there, but basically just defend because that bomb's going off. You... Um... Could do with having to spell all heal. But, for the meanwhile, stay here and throw a herb. Bomb goes off first. Yes. Oh shit, it killed all. At least that's not gonna double kill all. And Donna technically is alive. Needle crush, damn. Alright, the only thing doing anything right now is that we are safe. But you don't have a resurrect. God damn. Why don't we try this? <laughs> Yo, Alfina! Okay, looking fine. Let's get all back up. Come on. Donna's Alfina's defending. I guess it's because she was paralyzed while defending. Nice. She doesn't have a uh, anything to automatically defend against attack. I don't think. That's pretty good. Oh god. <laughs> this battle's not playing easy on us. Okay, that's only Yuki. That's not really a problem then. The warrior card. Give us strength! Oh, strength! Speaking of having strength... Why not? <laughs> Can't tell which one is me! <laughs> Keep an eye on my shadow! Leave it! <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, um... You're getting attacked by that. And there's nothing you can do about that. Oh. No. I'm gonna need too fast. Oh gosh. Uh, flash her off. Don't do that, y'all. 
bomb trap. Stop it. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see. You're doing a normal attack. You're not doing a normal attack. That bomb is gonna go off. I'd rather not be near it. I don't think unfortunately might be within range. Donna, thankfully, for once in her life, is running away. Quick enough. That's going after Oh, but we can't do anything about it. Oh, it's actually out of range. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Should just get an all heal up. We're not out of this yet. <laughs> Leave this to me. Nice. I mean, like, you're not gonna get anywhere. Okay, um. Dang. Supper's ready. I. They have to cut this recording off in battle. <laughs> that would be silly. Uh, let's see if I can't beat it quite quick enough. Oh no! I walk out of range. Which one's not good for me? Okay, us to us. We did it. I'm a pilot. I don't have time for this. And level ups. Good stuff. And there's a magic level again. I'm going to um and the recording here. I will be back momentarily. <laughs> And we can continue from here. I will probably go and save in the meantime if I remember to. Watch, I forget. <laughs>